Do you have any etudes you want to pass on?
to think of that. Yeah, and in what interval? Yeah, that's it, really. Let's get it solved. The tempo might be easy to ask you to do is Adagio. Yes.
Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, do it a few times. You know, one, three, four, one, two, three, four. Good. Now we really want to get the sound on that B the relationship between E flat and minor. Uh, the, the, mm -hmm. like the relative. Yes, nature. exactly. Relative nature, right? Okay, good. So let's do a uh, bow. <laughs> think what it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's from now on, let's stop and think what it is. Because once you once you ask yourself what is it, you have the answer. Right? I mean you're very knowledgeable by now. And I think it's helpful to know that okay, I started in C minor and now I I'm back to C minor and I had this little segment of relative nature. Just so you, you have a picture in your mind of how uh, Fiorillo put this piece together. And it's, it's actually one of the nicer etudes, I think. It's a solo for what string? Okay, I'm just checking. Okay, so here we go. So,
Okay, why don't you do this? Why don't you practice this for two days and make a box and then you can, you can, um, uh, yeah, you can check it off. Okay? Okay. Are you doing bow bases yet? I don't think so, are you? No, I think I have to close those. Is it red? I mean, that's the... I think I have a red one, too. Okay, okay. So can you bring that next time? Yeah. Okay. So let me show you number 15. It's actually a really good one. Oh. Of this. So it, it comes with lots of variations. So we're going to first... The first, before you turn to page 45, we're going to play first... <laughs> So write that down. And then at the frog. And then at the hip. Okay, and then spiccato. You can do like one or two lines of each each way, and then uh, go. Let me just uh, go to your page forty-five here. What you might want to do to make it a lot easier is uh, um, take a picture of this and print it out. Okay, and then you have all your bowing. You know, just like question number two, right? So. But you're doing kind of weird. Can you just do from the ball and top it? Right, so it's from here. But get your violin up so you know where you're coming from. Now go to the frog and do the same thing. And now at the tip. But you see the difference at the tip? And did we, did we do, you know, the...
fourth finger. So then.
Good. Now, when you do this, you, the speed of the bow stays exactly the same. You know, so just. Two rubber bands, maybe? Uh, I think it's fine. It's just, I don't know. It makes it like complicated. Okay, okay. It's okay. Don't set your head down. You know, just. Two, three. 
bigger shifts, how many over a period of 60 years of these shifts were flat, uh, I would say 99.9%. And that left like, what, 0.1% of shifts that people would shift and they would be sharp. So what does that tell you? because they're what intervals. Oh. 
Okay, well, let's figure it out. So if I do C sharp to F sharp, an octave lower, what interval is this? Minus third, so F7. Wait, wait. Oh. You said minor third, that's correct. Now F7 plus three is what? Ten. Ten. Minor. Ten. Yes. It's just the same thing, but it's an octave higher, really. Mm -hmm. So you have to add seven notes. Right? Okay, so what about this one? What interval is this? <laughs> so F7. Yeah, so though, because they're tenths they're, and they're in this position, uh, they're, they're easy to extend, right? We'll start doing tenths very soon in the scale. Okay, so one more week. Okay. okay, does that make sense? Okay, and then why don't we do, um, okay, let me just review in my mind. Obviously, we have the whole veneer sheet, right? Mm -hmm. And are you practicing anything else? Did we choose a short piece for you to do? I think so. Mm -hmm. But we don't remember what it is? I think you sent it. Okay, because mm. I'm I need a piece for BB Kids when we do a concert, okay. and you know what I'm thinking would be really beautiful and different for you are the um, four pieces of soup of Joseph Soup. Okay. Have you? You probably don't know who he is. He was a Czech violinist. Uh, well, he was a Czech composer. And his nephew was a great, great violinist that I actually heard in person quite many years ago. Of course, he would be 150 years old now. But um, the, there are four beautiful, beautiful pieces. And I will send the music to you, and you can print it out at home, okay? Mm -hmm. And then I want you to um, look at them right away, especially in Christmas vacation. So we'll pull them together. Uh, and then we'll finish the Vinievsky Concerto, obviously. And um, we need to go on. So um, uh, you, you have a choice of Lalo or Brooke. I'm just sending this to you, okay? There okay. you go. I don't know why. You'll you let me know if you don't get it, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to decide right now. Yeah. But what we really want to pull together is you'll have your Vinievsky, and then you'll have Brooke or Lalo, and then in the summer, you can start another one. So then we'll have Brooke, Lalo and Vinievsky plus four pieces. And then, I don't know, maybe what, ninth grade? Yeah. So then
then you have to be more aware. You know, you'll be able to say, I trust you, Mr. Darius, and Mr. Kobiak, and you name it. It will be whatever you want to play. <laughs> okay? So you'll let me know. And in the meantime, I want to hear just the last movement and bring that screen out. Let's get hi from Eileen. Don't even bother to not just pop in. the last movement and uh, tomorrow uh, Olivia can run it with you and and we're planning to play the whole thing on Friday the 13th right mm -hmm. okay okay how's your A
and then do sections. Okay, for, for example here, this needs attention because it's out of tune, right? So can we do that once more? Speed 
Okay.